Iowa by 20 and North Carolina by 18. That's 25 and a half points a game. Oklahoma this year scored 3,847 total points, the most ever by a college basketball team. They flipped the coin. Oklahoma won it. They will wear the home whites. And so Arizona in the red and numerals on the blue jerseys. They have possession and shot at it number 32 with the game's first field goal. Back at the other end before you can wink an eye. Oklahoma's first miss and the Wildcats come back. Greg McMillan into Elliott's hand. No delay game here, Brent. Both teams going to go after each other offensively right off the bat. Man to man, great matchup. Off the fake, McMillan. Short. Now oh, it's Seeger rebounding for OU. And down comes Grace into King's hands. And up over the top was Cook. The game's first foul is called. The Oklahoma players want goaltending on that shot. They're not going to get it. Cook came over. He's the leading shot blocker in Pac-10 history. Stacy King at the free throw line, Billy. And what did he do just before the opening tap? <laughs> he went around and shook hands with all three officials. I've never seen an individual player do that. Had a little conversation with one of them. And he gets and he on the free throw line well, first. Now wait, that's a little strong, Brent. And he missed both times, but he runs it down and he gives Oklahoma an opportunity. Colbert really bodying him inside, Stacy King. That was Harvey Grant's jump shot on the money. Are you sure that wasn't Robert McAdoo? That's what Jerry West said to me before the game. He said, if that's not Robert McAdoo, I don't know who it is. What a look-alike he is. He smiles more than McAdoo, and that's about the only difference. Now, Steve Kerr, the point man, into Cook's hands, and they get it back to Kerr, who signals the play. He's the quarterback of this fine Arizona basketball team. Cook, an inside man. Grant comes out with him. Now they shift to Tolbert. King is there on his back, and Blaylock helping. Kerr bangs up a miss, and Tolbert with an offensive rebound. Nice thinking by Tolbert. Now Cook, through the key, gets the roll. What is Coach Billy Tuck's philosophy in this game, Billy? Well, he's just going to push the ball up and down the floor as much as he can. Injury right here is Sean Elliott. Knee braces come loose, and he's going to wrap it back. He injured that knee playing high school soccer. And at the time, many of you in the Tucson area know the story. The doctor told him he would never be able to play competitive sports. Not only has he played, but the Pro Scouts drool over his talent. That's how good he is. As Luki Blaylock misses, and Tolbert gets to the glass for Arizona. Arizona wins zone first time in the game so far. They will change up their defenses a lot. They have to be alert. Here's the big matchup. Can Seeger stay with Elliott? Tolbert over King, short. King rebounds again. Now it's Grace, the amazing Grace, Mookie Blaylock over there. They come fully equipped with nicknames this bunch from Norman, Oklahoma. And do they have talent? Look at Tolbert's knee. He's putting it right on Stacy King's upper thigh, and that's how he's pushing him out an extra step. See that knee in there? Here comes King. He's tough on blocks when he gets it there. Now, if, if I'm Stacy King, I go right to the referee and I say, hey, tell him to keep that knee out of there. He's pushing. You see how he's pushing him out of the way? Long pass after the turnover, and Elliott jams it. The best way to beat this press is to go over the top of it, and that's what Arizona's got the ability to do with great passes. Lou Delson asking his Gumbies to sit down for a short time. Grace missing. Grant with an offensive rebound. Kerr battling for it. Goes to the floor. Comes up with the ball. Good hands by Cook. Everybody on this Arizona club can catch the ball very, very well. First final four appearance for Arizona. Cook the ball. And King met him solidly. His first personal. But this game really hasn't gotten a flow to it yet. You can see both clubs kind of feeling each other out in regard to the great athletic ability we're seeing here. And the first substitution comes off the Arizona bench. That's Joe Turner, the 6'7 senior from Bakersfield, California. And Tolbert will go over for a word with the coaches. 
Tober did not want to come out. Had a monster game against the University of North Carolina. But he had the monster after he came out of the game. He went over and sat alongside Lute Olson. And Lute said to him, Tom, do you really want to go to Kansas City? Do you want it badly enough? The rest is history. He exploded against J.R. Reed in the second half. Now Dave Seeger, the team leader for Oklahoma, down in the corner. Seeger's three was an air ball. McMillan battling. And it winds up in Turner's hands. Seeger hounding Elliott. Elliott great off the dribble. But one of the things that Elliott does, as well as any big guy I've seen, matter of fact, I've got it. I've got to think of Magic Johnson when I think of him at that size. He can penetrate, not draw the charge, and either go in and score or make the great pass. And there haven't been many that have come along in basketball that can do it as well. Gracious first personal, two team fouls here on Oklahoma. Her down in the corner. McMillan. Her popping back on the outside. As you see Oklahoma's not going to give Kerr the three-point shot. Ricky Blaylock staying with him out there. They get inside, and it's knocked away from Turner, trying to get it back. He traveled. Good quick hands by Grant and Turner. Now it's OU's ball. Billy, how do these two guards compare, by the way? Blaylock and Grace now with the ball. Well, offensively, they're very similar. Grace can go on the drive better than Mookie Blaylock. Defensively, Grace a little bit more solid, but Blaylock with a great stealing ability. Seeger missing only one shot and out. Elliott gets to the glass. Going to that three a little early, not pounding it down inside the King. I think that's what they're going to have to do here. Arizona has built a five-point advantage. They get it inside. That quick on the quick turnaround. I don't see how the Arizona kids are picking up the defensive signals against a team that pushes it up court so well. King muscling in. So tough there in the paint area when he gets the pass. Well, that's where I think they ought to attack. Go down inside for a while. Let King establish something inside. Now OU goes to that pressure defense. You know what I mean, they Elliott is bringing up the ball sure. even more than Kerr. They do not want Mookie Blaylock to take a shot at Kerr. A big change in the strategy by Lute Olson in Arizona here in the early minutes. Very smart because that puts Kerr down in the shooting range. Steps out for the three. Now as Cook got the ball, he traveled, he slipped, and it is turned over. Blaylock is truly hounding Kerr as Tolbert returns for Arizona. But I go back to your graphic, Billy. Stamina in this game. Well, you got to figure this game's going to be up in the in the 90s, maybe even in the hundreds. So, you know, any given possession is not as important as it was in the first game. Now they're back to the 2-3 zone with Tolbert in the middle. You know, fans are familiar with Georgetown and John Thompson. He'll wear you out defensively. Billy Tubbs likes to wear you out offensively. He likes to keep coming. Blaylock off the fake. Not there. Kerr went for the rebound. Blaylock. What a great up for OU. He is a great offensive rebounder for his side. There's another he's got one. it again. Twice down there for Oklahoma. Another JC transfer who's come in. Grant's open there at the baseline. Missed this time. King can't handle it. Ball goes out of bounds, and the two officials down there confer. Paul Hausman out of Salem, Virginia, is our referee. Joe Forty and Louis Grillo are the two umpires. We've got a timeout in Kansas City. Listen to the heartbeat of America. Now there's a powerful new reason to follow your heart. The new 4.3 liter V6, available in S10 Blazer. 28% more power than before, and 50% more torque. The new 4.3 liter V6, the biggest engine ever offered in Blazer's class. The heartbeat of America. Chevy S10 Blazer. Today's Chevy truck. At Pizza Hut, we make it fast. We have time for lunch. We make it hot. It's gonna be hot, right? And we make it great. Hey. Making it fast, making it hot, keeping it everything we've got. Making your smiles, give me a smile. Slicing it, spicing, cheese and pleasing. At Pizza Hut, we go all out to make it fast, hot, and delicious. Making it happen, making your day. Pizza Hut, making it great. Well, you're the kind of man that likes to do things your own way. And you can bet it's right when you get through. And there's a 
It's that comedy giant like you've never seen him before in... A movie? Join Morgan Fairchild, James Brolin, and Tony Bill in Pee-wee's Big Adventure, the movie, Tuesday. Well, in Oklahoma, these two will pick you clean, brother. I guarantee you, this is a great graphic right here. And I wouldn't want to face him. Look at those eyes there following that ball. And that's what they do when you try to put it on the floor. Interesting that the two were teammates in junior college at Midland, Texas. Now, Blaylock, this is his first year alongside Grace. Larry Brown went hard after Blaylock, and so Grace said, I better call Mookie. Oh, I sure don't want to play against that kind of a, a thief as he makes a steal, and Seeger's got a field goal as the result of it. On your cue, Billy. Yep. Blaylock's hands are so quick. Now, what Arizona's going to try to do is throw over the top of it. And now it's Grace's turn. Two quick steals. First Blaylock and then Grace. Big mistake by Arizona. They've got to throw over the top of that, not with a bounce pass. There's the long over the head pass. Tolbert, wrap around Cook. Lou Dolson will do some talking to his people because with McMillan in his size and Elliott in his size, they can throw over those small guards. That's two three zone. Tolbert trying to beat King to the spot. King's wrapped around a little too hard with the left hand. I think you're really smart. When you first catch the ball against Oklahoma, don't dribble. Catch it, see the court, then look to make a play. You put it on the floor and you play into their hands. Nice backdoor cut. And Kerr sealed up inside, and Oklahoma gets the turnover. The defense now starting to turn up the pressure here for the Sooners. Kerr with less turnovers than games played. That's his one for the game, Brent. Back to man-to-man -man goes Arizona. They change that defense. Grant, a little flat, but in it goes. A great shooter from there. His brother, his twin brother, Horace Grant, plays with alongside Michael Jordan with the Chicago Bulls. They both started out at Clemson. And McMillan misfiring with a three over everything with the air ball. They want King on the inside against the double team. He just kept muscling. Brent, each game that I see King play, he becomes more of a monster inside. Elliott comes back, and we go seesawing as again the lead changes hands here. Elliott laboring a little bit going back down court. The left hand, Grace missing, and Seeger banging into McMillan commits his first personal. That is the third team foul on Oklahoma. There's one team foul on Arizona here. 12 minute mark of the first half. Arizona up by a point. Two scores have carried the burden so far for the Wildcats. Elliott with six and Cook with seven. Brent Lofty comes in again. Now he has quickness. And but in effect, he plays down on the floor to Grace and Mookie Blaylock. So they may go right after him. You know, Lute Olsen has a little speed over there on the bench in the backcourt. Don't be surprised if we see some of it here soon. A fresh man. Tolbert on a jump pass, and Lofton is in. I didn't realize he was even out yep. on the floor, Billy. Just you came mentioned in. him. Tolbert putting it down, and he traveled. You can see the respect the Arizona players have for the great shot blocking ability of King and Grant that time. That is six turnovers committed by Arizona already in this game. That is something to watch. They normally are way below that. They change their zone again to a 1-1-3. One, one, Blaylock with great quickness coming on the inside, and the foul is called. Olsen can't be happy about that. He thought the ball was being lost off the dribble. But Brent, there was no need for Lofton to reach in on that. He already had Blaylock at a disadvantage. He'd lost his dribble and was falling. Just want to move your feet a little bit there. King looking for a potential lob pass here. Lofton goes against Blaylock, and King now off the glass, banks in the field goal, his third here of the first half. 
Lofton dribbling away from the pressure, but still on the other side of the timeline. He traveled. They've turned it over again against Oklahoma. Brent, you cannot put the ball on the floor. You have to throw over the press. I talked to Coach Ivo before the game, and he said, Billy, the key against the press is to get the ball as rapidly as possible, as simple as possible, over half court into shooting position. And that's what Arizona is not doing. Isn't that amazing? We're at the 11-minute mark here of the first half. And Billy Tubbs, who just keeps coming. Elliott quickly returns. And Joe Turner back two. Second time down for Tolbert. McMillan sitting because he's not shooting very well. He's been a basically a season-long slump. But it really hurts when he's out of the game because you don't have a good passer to go over the top of the zone. Or the press. Inside the King. Missing. And Blaylock is there again with still another offensive rebound. That's his third offensive rebound, his first field goal. There's the long pass into Lofton hand. Quickly to Elliott now. They attack the pressure, and Sean Elliott hits the field goal. What a pull-up. This may turn out to be an Elliott against Stacey King offensive blowout. Down the baseline, into the hands of King. I'm not sure they know what to do right now with Mookie Blaylock's speed. Well, he's going through the zone or man to man. Into the trap into Elliott's hands, and he'll put it down. Mookie Blaylock, he just covers the floor. You know, when they go pressing, he doesn't worry about a man. He's just looking to pick something off. Now, baseline, and it's Elliott. Stacy King kind of out of position that time. No help for Elliott on the baseline. Great start by Sean. He hits his first five field goal attempts. The lob. King turned around on the right side. Turner came up with him and fouled him. And one of the things, Brent, that Lou Dawson's got to start thinking about, they're playing behind Stacy King no matter what the defense is. And when he gets it in that low post position, He's playing bigger than the 6'10 that he is, and he's so soft with those turnaround jump shots. This guy was second team all the game. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I mean, he's, he may not be second team all rookie NBA. Forget about Big 8, although they've had a great year with a super group of seniors. Here's a young man who was academically ineligible, and the next time he got his grades, he was on the dean's list. That's when they knew that Stacy King was here to stay. Oklahoma 20 and Arizona 17. Listen to the heartbeat. The new Beretta. Of America. A sport coupe that prefers a curve to a straight line with a special sport suspension to conform to roads that don't conform. And a price as uncommon as the car itself. Beretta. For people who appreciate the not so straight and narrow. The heartbeat of America. Beretta. That's today, Chevrolet. Leave it to the good hands, people. Understanding. It's knowing that buying a new house often means finding new ways to save, even if that means bagging your lunch. You want whole wheat or rye? Give me rye. And Allstate can help with a new house discount that could save you 15% on homeowner's insurance. You want mustard or mayo? Mayo. And 15% could buy lots of hot lunches. You want mixed fruit or pudding? Do you want the truth? The Allstate new house <laughs> discount. Another reason. You're in good hands with Allstate. <laughs> It's that time again, deer season, when you can buy a John Deere lawnmower or tractor and get one of 12 other deer products at no extra charge. Or you can take advantage of great cash discounts, saving you anywhere from $40 to $350. For the name of the participating dealer nearest you, look for this ad in the magazine section of your Sunday newspaper. But you better hurry, because deer season doesn't last. And with deals like these, the deer won't either. When you look for champions, look to college basketball on CBS Sports. Well, Billy Packer with a look at the defense. 
But here's the 2-3 zone put in, in place. Now watch what happens as Oklahoma swings the ball over to the side. You're going to see Cook come out to take one man. Tolbert has to go all the way to the corner. A very tough move to see whenever you go up against a team that will move the ball and swing it from side to side. Here you go. Cook has to come out. Look at how far Tolbert has to go all the way to the corner to make that defensive play. Can't get there in time. You know, Billy, so far, only two of the Arizona starters have scored. Cook is perfect, three of three. Elliott, five of five. As they come up against the pressure, all five of the OU starters are on the scoreboard. Much more balanced now for Tubbs' team at the start of this semifinal game. I will show you exactly what's transpiring. Seeger out hounding Kerr right now. Mason has come off the bench for his first look. Oklahoma goes into a little zone of their own. Nice move by Tolbert. Miss misses and winds up in Seeger's hands. Reed Olsen was upset with that because you can't attack the zone any better than they did on that, on that time down the floor. They put Elliott playing King. Switch back. They double up quickly with Cook coming over to help Tolbert. Now they rotate the ball around and Grace is firing underneath. Grant misses the tap in. Oklahoma again. Still can't get it to fall. Oh, look. Oh, that was not a foul. That was not a foul. Mookie Blaylock is incredible. He was hiding behind the trees. He, what he has, Brent, he has such great, great hand-eye coordination. He'd be a heck of a boxer. Now watch him hiding behind the trees. Watch his eyes. Boom, that's my ball. Let's go the other way. I didn't think it was a foul. The official was shielded there by a body and probably didn't get a good look at it. Here's the zone now. Lou Olson probably a little surprised at this early on. Nice coaching move by Billy Tubbs. Colbert, a good perimeter shooter. Reminds me a little bit of a right-handed Dave Pine. The intensity he plays with. There's a turnover by Oklahoma. Only their third on that traveling call. They lead it by a point here at the 826 mark. Billy Tubbs came over to me yesterday at the shoot around and he said, I really wanted to just roll the balls out of the locker room because that's what the writers say all I do anyway, is just roll them out for these athletes. Now they're wrong about that one if anybody <laughs> thinks that way because he is a great, great coach. Was it Lamar and certainly has been at Oklahoma. And Kerr was short with that three-pointer. Stacy King keeping that defender on his back. Boy, he provides a great target inside. King short, but runs it down. Out hustled Arizona that time and scored two of his 12 points as a result of it. When Arizona's making a mistake as to where they're putting their people against this press, they've got to put them farther down the court so they can get a better passing angle to go over the press. The closer they stay to each other, the tougher it is to get it over. Blocked by Stacy King. Race quickly to Blaylock. Blaylock waits now for the attack, and Seeger, he hits it. Three pointer. That's their first after five misses. They go for the steal, but the foul is called. Again, the spacing against the press is very poor on the part of Arizona. So Turner checking back in for Arizona here in the Kemper Arena in Kansas City. This is our second national semifinal. Already Kansas has advanced to the Monday night final. And if you're wondering how Oklahoma and Kansas made out in the Big Eight this year, Oklahoma swept the Jayhawks, beat them both times by eight points. That's how they eliminated Duke, 66 to 59. Danny Manning playing a great game. Duke hustled back into it, trailed by three, but then the Jayhawks pulled away. Quickly, Mason comes to the attack for Arizona. They are down by six at the 7-18 mark. It is 25 to 19 right now, Oklahoma. Elliott wanted it over here, a three-point land. Missed up over the top. It goes to Oklahoma. On the floor, he wears number 24. You can pick him out there on the far side. He has a red knee brace there. There he is handling the ball now. Mullins inside to King, shows up on a blocks, and it's offensive foul. That'll stop him. Two against King. I guess Stacey King's probably wondering, Brett, why he shook hands with that particular official, huh? <laughs> you know what I love about him? No, you notice how he gets right back down on the defensive end of the floor, which is, again, one of the great coaching traits of Billy Tubbs. He's 
getting back on defense. Uh, they're just great at it. Enormous pressure. They're going to wear down some of these Arizona players, you would think. They stay with that 1-2-2 two, two zone. Kerr can't get open for the three. Elliott short into the hands of Grant. Oklahoma on the move again. Here's Grant. And he drew the foul as he came up with his shot. And Mason, you have to wonder why he went out and just made an automatic foul. Now, as Grant comes up to the free throw line, we can see that still another substitute. There's a person who put on a show yesterday. Andre Wiley hit a dunk yesterday and a dunk exhibition that I've never seen. He took three ball boys right underneath the hoop where he is right there. He lined them up and he jumped over all three. Now, take a look at what Billy Packer was telling you facial qualities, how they resemble Bob McAdoo. And, and, and when you get a look at him from behind during this game, you'll see the same form McAdoo. He played, of course, collegiately at North Carolina before going to the pros. And interestingly, grew up in Greensboro, North Carolina, the same place that Danny Manning grew up, so a pretty fertile territory there. King out, Brent. Maybe Arizona try to go inside a little more. They don't have to worry about his shot blocking ability, although Wiley can get up. Curves three. Perhaps hurried because of that intense defensive pressure Oklahoma has exerted here. The general. And Mookie Blaylock into Wiley's hand. That is his fifth offensive rebound. They just trap Kerr in the corner. And he traveled. Lute Olsen uses a timeout. He's fallen behind this surge by the Sooners by 10 points. Every night while you're sleeping, UPS is maintaining its status as the only company that delivers overnight to every address coast to coast. And now we guarantee it. Introducing UPS Next Day Air Guarantee. And because we're so efficient, we'll still do it for up to half what other companies charge, which is guaranteed to cause our competition some sleepless nights. UPS, we run the tightest ship in the shipping business. Chevy S10 invites you to own this real estate with the biggest engine ever offered in a compact 4x4. The most V6 power and torque of... Impressive start by this team. It really isn't, and Brent, I think that Arizona will adjust more to Oklahoma because Oklahoma's going to play one way, and now Arizona's got to figure out how to get back in. They started out in their 1-1-3 zone. They brought Nick Millen back in. So Lou Dolson has gone with his starter. Grant on the run. Some offensive player, isn't he? And they go to trap. Quickly, Arizona to the attack. Grant got a hand on defender. <laughs> Over was open momentarily. Mookie Blaylock again. He's just looking around, looking for a place to steal the ball. Kind of hides behind everybody. They whip it to Kerr for the three. Elliott. Alone in there. Defense stops him. Now Grace sets the table for the Sooners. Laylock looks in. Mullins can shoot that three-pointer. He's got great range. Wiley wants it down on the blocks. They extend that zone out because you have to worry about the three-point shooting range. tried to save it. They've turned it over to Arizona. This is a 13-2 run by the Sooners here in the first half, and it has put them ahead 31-19. to Change their press a little bit. Quickly, they get the ball into Elliott's hands. But you see what it does, that press takes you completely out of your half-court offense. Elliott's tray. Up on top, and it goes over to Oklahoma. Now, what's happening right now is that Oklahoma's press has taken Arizona completely out of their half-court offense. Once they beat the press, if they don't have a layup, they've got to pull it back off and start running their half-court. 
and Arizona has missed its last eight field goals during that time frame. Into Wiley who came up. Cook has the ball now for the Wildcats. Big possession right here for Arizona. Get some semblance, semblance of an offense going. Same thing happened to Duke in the first game. They got hung up in the other team's game. And Billy Tubbs has stayed with his zone because it's been very effective. Billy, I'll tell you, against this defense, this speed, it's survival out there sometimes. You've just got to get it as quickly as you can and fire. And there it is. Kerr finally hitting their first three. They're one of eight. And that's the firepower they're going to need to get back in this. One of eight from a team that's the best three-point shooting percentage team in the nation. Laylock trying to get it inside to the grant. Get an opportunity to remind everybody when we can that the women have their national championship. Arizona hasn't been able to get anything inside. He can both rest them and keep them out of foul trouble. Defense, 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 defense. Grace bangs the three. Is so cool. Bushler out here for Arizona, number 35, along with Kerr and McMillan, Cook and Elliott. Quickly into the hands of Kerr, that cross court pass. This time he penetrates. They set up Cook. King off with the rebound. Wiley showed his leaping ability in great timing. There's Andre Wiley at the offensive end for the field goal. The 230 mark. It is 36. 22, Oklahoma. McMillan's three. He bangs one in. Now they run a couple in a row. Two of nine. And just when you think you've accomplished something, Oklahoma puts the ball right back down your throat. Mullins. There's another three for the Sooners. He said he's got some range. Miss Fine back into his hands, and he traveled. That's nine Arizona turnovers in the first half against the Sooners. In a defense like this, not only will they steal it, but they'll force you to hurry throughout the game. Brent, another thing, when you don't run your offense, you're in terrible position to get offensive rebounds, and you can see Arizona's getting nothing off the glass when they miss. Back to a little man to man here. King put it down and reaching in was Elliott to tie him up. But the possession arrow stays with Oklahoma right now. So they get a fresh 45 and the ball out of bounds at the 137 mark. Coming up at halftime, we'll remind you, Jim Nance and James Brown will be along. They'll review that Kansas victory here in game one. But it's interesting for the fans to watch players when there's a little break in the action. That time, John Elliott bent over. He was very, very tired. The Oklahoma kids, as I said at the top of the show, have the greatest stamina of any college team I've ever seen. And they're putting it on them now. Well, I'll give you an example. Elliott hit his first five shots. He's now missed his next five. rebound and the ball is knocked away as he comes up. Bill Russell was watching the college kids work out the other day and he saw that kind of a block and he said you know when I was playing the guy'd only do that one time the second time he gets an elbow coming across. But a lot of kids are getting good at that in the college game. I'm sure Arizona is shocked at how much zone they're seeing in this game. McMillan, cross to Elliott. Curs three. Being forced to release that jump shot quicker than he wants to. Great job by Elliott to get the ball into Cook's hands and save it for Arizona. Well, what Steve Kerr wanted to know is he want just one shot. He looked back at Lute Olsen. Smart thing to do right here. Down 14. You don't want to go any further down. Tremendous first half show by Oklahoma. You had to be impressed the night they took on Louisville because I thought that Denny Crum's team played awfully well that night. Purvis Elson, 
but also Felton Spencer. And Oklahoma simply ground him down. Alley oop to Elliott. And it won't stay down. And there's a foul underneath. Wiley. Sensational catch by Elliott. And that's that back screen against the zone on the lob pass. You can see now there's the screen going to be set up. They go right behind the zone. Elliott goes up even over King to make a sensational catch there. But he can't get anything to fall. Brenny's probably missed, what, four or five in a row here on this stretch. Two. Two seconds to go. Billy Tubbs, who's obviously never been to the Final Four before, although he's had so many outstanding teams at Oklahoma, two times in the NCAA tournament at Lamar. He's got to be satisfied with his performance so far. What did he say yesterday? He doesn't, the other team can't trick him because my guys don't pay attention anyway. <laughs> He's dumb like a fox. Oh, you better believe really it. Dubs. I want to tell you that as Lofton returns for Arizona for the last two seconds. And they do not want Sean Elliott to pick up any kind of a foul. Oh. Well, Arizona hit only three of its last 16 field goals for Lute Olson. And they have fallen behind an impressive Sooner team, 39 to 27. CBS coverage of the NCAA basketball championship will continue after this message and a word from your local station. 14 points of the game. Here's Danny Manning slamming. Kansas was in front, in fact, 24 to 6. Mike Krzyzewski's team could not stop the inside play of the Jayhawks. Milt Newton knocked in 20 for the game. Duke did pull within three with about five minutes to go. Here's Danny Perry at the other end scoring. But that's as close as the Blue Devils would get is at the other end, Kevin Pritchard pops this one in. And the amazing Larry Brown is going to the championship game on Monday night, and he joins us to watch him play here in the Final Four. Mrs. Ann Kerr is a professor of English at American University in Cairo, and she is with James Brown right now at courtside. James? What you want I'm State Farm Agent Jim Cornwell. When I first insured John and Susan Rager, I told them my job was just beginning. Now, there's a new car in the family, a new home, and a new Rager, John Lawton. We just got together for a family insurance checkup. That's State Farm's way of helping you keep up with all your changing insurance needs. Because if you're anything like the Ragers, things can change pretty fast. And like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. There's a whole lot of airline behind every flight one of these makes. There's the largest aircraft maintenance center in the world. Mechanics and engineers who set a gold standard for the industry. One of the most advanced computer networks on Earth. Commitment to flight crew training matched by no other airline. Behind every single flight one of these makes stand the 60,000 professionals of the friendly skies, rededicated to giving you the service you deserve. Come fly the friendly skies. This is CBS. Every week, pull up a chair and join all the fun. <laughs> That's the most ridiculous thing I ever heard. On It's a Living. Sunday nights at 11 on KX4 Television. Avoid the Noid. With the Domino's Pizza Guarantee. We guarantee your pizza will be delivered within 30 minutes or you get $3 off your order. Guaranteed. And we guarantee your pizza will taste great. If you're not satisfied with your pizza, we'll replace it or refund your money. Only our pizza is guaranteed to avoid the noise. Domino's Pizza delivers. Call now. CBS Sports coverage of the NCAA Basketball Championship is sponsored by Mazda. Bringing performance and value together, that's the Mazda way. Coors, the original draft beer in bottles and cans. Coors, the original. And by AT&T, the right choice. 
Well, Arizona this year has been down 16 at New Mexico, and they were beaten in that game. 13 at Oregon State in the first half. They won that game. And here against Oklahoma, they're down by 12. Here is why they are down. Arizona averaged only 12 turnovers a game, nine in the first half. Off those turnovers, the Sooners have exploded for 12 points. Three-point field goal. Tonight, Arizona has been shut down. Steve Kerr only one of six. And the leading scorer, Sean Elliott, carrying the load. But remember, he had his first five field goals and missed six in a row. And Stacy King is there for 12 points. Uh, speaking of Stacy King, Billy, I can't remember a lobbyist quite like him. Well, we ought to send him to Washington, D.C. And he's really getting Lou Grillo's ear there. He started off the game talking to all three. I guess he figures maybe Grillo hasn't been giving him good position inside, but anytime he touches it, he's been scoring. He's only got two personals called against him. He'd probably work the whole house if it was three. Well, you know, this second half, Brent, particularly the first couple minutes coming out of here, I'm interested to see if this experienced Arizona club can now get their second breath and say, hey, you know, they're doing some things to us we haven't seen before with this caliber of athlete and see how they make the adjustment. I think they can still go over the top of the zone, but if they can't beat it immediately, they've got to get back in their half-court offense, play a little different type of game. And, of course, on Monday night, Kansas already in the national championship game, and they will play the winner here. If it is Oklahoma, it'll be what a night for the Big 8 Conference and the third time that the Jayhawks and the Sooners would have met, met this year. Oklahoma swept Kansas in two earlier meetings, each by eight points. Well, Brent, there's only been three times in the history. That'd be the third time in the history of the NCAA tournament that two teams from the same conference got in the Final Four. Obviously, the it would be the first time since 1952 that the Big 8 had a national champion. So we got a full half to play right here. Oklahoma comes out very loose, and I see a more serious expression on this Arizona team that has been very cool coming into this Final Four. John Elliott, their floor leader all the way. Steve Kerr will take the ball out of bounds, and let's see how they do against the constant pressure of the Oklahoma Sooners. Billy Tugs was so successful in that 1-2-2 two, two half-court uh, defense, so he starts out with it. Cook up over the top with a miss, and Elliott with an offensive rebound. Puts in the field goal. That's 14 for Sean Elliott. Breaks a string of six in a row that he missed, and I think he missed because he was a tired warrior at the end of that first half. Into King off the glass. He is so confident. When he catches the ball, he just turns around, and he knows he's going to get something done. Great pass inside from Elliott, and Cook didn't put it down. They can't miss those opportunities. Not against this bunch. You see, Tolbert just can't get in front of King. King moves so well with his feet to get position. Keeps that hand high above his head. Grant at the free throw line missing, and Kerr coming away with the rebound for Arizona. Defensive transition prevents the layup on the break. Off Seeger's leg. Again, that great conditioning and quickness from Oklahoma. They, their transition from offense to defense is the best in the country. McMillan's the open man here against this defense, but not for long. Into Tolbert. He comes up over King. Two field goals for Tolbert in this game. Trailing by 10. The pace of that half-court offense is more to the liking of Arizona. Another travel against Grant off the fake. at seven turnovers by the Sooners. Watch Billy Tubbs go back to man-to-man -man here shortly because that zone has got some holes in it now, and they're nowhere near as aggressive as they were when they came out man-to-man. -man. Here's Kerr. This time right on the three. Grant's defensive rebound. Off quickly to Grace. One for seven in a three-point range from the man that set a new NCAA record. Shooting almost 60% from that area. King double finds the open man, and they swing it to Grant. Good ball movement that time. That second pass was beautiful by Blaylock. Hustles back into position, and he has put two field goals on the scoreboard here in the second half. Oklahoma hasn't turned it up yet, though, Brent. You know, you notice how this game is kind of much slower pace. 
Just expect them to explode any minute. And King on the turnaround. That's 16 points for Stacy King. Mark Plansky of Villanova said he felt like they were at, just waiting to erupt at any moment when they played against. I brace reaching back in commits his second personal foul as Cook had it. You know, several times for Coach Wilson, Arizona has missed layup opportunities here. Well, they may be thinking the shot blocking ability of King inside, and Grant's good coming over from the weak side. Give you some trouble on those easy layups. Well, Cook shooting a pair of free throws now for the Wildcats. And earlier this afternoon, Kansas and Danny Mann eliminated Duke. Grace with seven assists, leading Oklahoma right now, and Blaylock has chipped in with five. Great man to man, and again, King's got him on his hip. Just puts you away when he gets to that baseline. They go to trap, knock it out of bounds, Arizona's ball. But Brandy, again, the thing that's hurting Arizona, and I'm kind of surprised that it is, because they've been so good passing the ball against the trap, is that they're starting this from so close to the end line. This is why all coaches look for speed. Tolbert wants to get something going, but Blaylock doubled. Cook came around and fired the shot, and the foul was called. That's foul number three on Grace. He is the first Sooner, in fact, the first player to hit the three foul mark. You know, you, when you think of Grace and Blaylock in the backcourt, they got beat <laughs> when they were on the same team by San Jacinto. Liddell Eccles, the great player from New Orleans, Harvey and Porter, the two backcourt players that are playing at St. John's. That must have been some contest. Their only loss of the year, San Jacinto went undefeated for the national crown. More and more, there's respect for the fellows who come out of those junior colleges. Last year, you might recall Indiana. Dean Garrett and Keith Smart both came off of J.C. campus. Now, we've got Grace Blaylock out here operating in the backcourt. Seeger misfires. Cook yanks off the miss in Arizona, trying to put together a run and keep it going here. Very intelligent Arizona team. They move it to Tolbert, who hesitated, and that threw off the shot into the hands of Blaylock. He missed fires, and now Elliott comes down. Asking Elliott to do a lot, rebound on one end of the court and still be the offensive threat. Millen got into Elliott's hands, and again they missed it. Tolbert and Cook were there. Now maybe the Gumbies will climb into it, and that's what this Wildcat team needs to ignite them. It's 47-38 right now. Oklahoma. King, not this time. Elliott was still another oh. rebound, and Blaylock went after it. But it wound up in Kerr's hands. Tolbert. <laughs> Short, but he was worried about King's shot blocking ability, but he came right back at him. Tops has got to be thinking timeout. He needs to get back in that man to man and force this pressure again. Because Arizona has got it going their way right now as far as tempo is concerned. Blaylock gets it to fall. He doesn't mind taking it right inside on you. Only six feet tall. They go for Elliott with that long pass. Cook. So it's been Cook, Elliott, and now Tolbert. Seeger works the baseline and drew the blocking foul. Billy Tubbs talked to us about the other day about Seeger. He is not the fastest man on the squad, but he eventually over 40 minutes becomes the fastest because he'll beat you down court. And there was his stamina, which showed up on that play. And for Coach Tubbs, Andre Wiley, 32, checks in. Elliott and Tolbert will both take a breather here for Arizona. And McMillan also joins them. So three of the regulars go out now, and we'll set their lineup for you. Lofton is there. Kerr stays. Bushler is back on the floor. And Turner wearing the goggles, number 33. 
Seager back in the game as Seager misses the free throw and Cook stays out there. Seager, who set an Oklahoma record with making eight threes in one game. Very valuable player. Sat out one year at Oklahoma. So we've got a TV timeout here in Kansas City. 14, 50 to go. 50-42, Oklahoma up by eight. You wouldn't believe how many families I've recommended the Mazda 626 to. They just love the giant interior. They all say the 626 drives like an expensive road car and can't believe all the car they get for the money. But I like the fact that the 626 not only comes as a traditional four-door sedan, which I bet you thought you were looking at. Surprise, you've been looking at this slick five-door touring sedan. My station wagon, in disguise. Coors, America's number one draft presents famous sports original, the original aerobics class. The first portable exercise machine. The first guy to play too many football games without a helmet. Now Coors, the original draft in 12-ounce cakes introduces the original sports nuts collection. Look for this display at your favorite store and go a little nuts. There are three nevers in sports casting. Never wear your best suit to a locker room celebration. Never yell, it's out of here, before it's out of here. And even if you have to say, beyond Kalana to Benica is to Balboni, never, never let them see you sweat. Introducing Dry Idea for Men, the most powerful wetness protection available to man. Sweat belongs on the ball field, not in the broadcast booth. New Dry Idea for Men, in sports scent and classic scent. Never let them see you sweat. Next on West 57th, high energy and hot rhythms. Rhythm is gonna get you. Miami Sound Machine on West 57th. Next. The 50th anniversary of the NCAA basketball championships. There's a gentleman who coached the first winner, Howard Hobson at Oregon. Old Pat and Jim in Evanston, Illinois, at Northwestern. They beat Ohio State 46-33. But Ohio State would win one. There's Jerry Lucas in 1960, and a man who changed this game forever, Bill Russell, who led San Francisco to two titles, 55 and 56. This is Bushler, number 35, great volleyball player, coached down in Tucson area, so familiar with him. In a few years, he may wind up on the United States Olympic volleyball team, which fake that time rises in the air and hits the jump shot. Bushler known for his defense, showed a little bit there, going inside the zone. That zone developing some holes in it now. Oklahoma needs to regain that momentum that they had in the first half. Arizona has edged back. Oh! Six and Lofton goes up for the steal. Bushler to Turner. Here come the Wildcats. Lofton caught that one on the fly. You very seldom see that. Catching flies with the hands, what he just did. Now coming off strongly is Turner. Brett, Arizona has decided to double team King down inside, front and back. Billy Tubbs is going to counter by putting Grant back in the game, which will help. They ship it to Lofton. Not what they needed there. Here's Blaylock on the move. And he traveled. As he spun around, lost it, he traveled. So Grant, 25, returns, and so does Tolbert for Arizona. You gotta figure McMillan will be coming back in the ball game here shortly, as well as Elliott. It is down to four, as Arizona has put together an 11-3 run over the last three minutes. Lofton and Blaylock showing great ability to time the jump. Grant. Contributing. Steve Kerr gets in with the coral threes. And the Yanks run away. And Arizona can pull back to within two. Oh, short. And it lodges up. It'll be a jump ball. That's the ruling. And the possession arrow sends it over. So it goes over to Oklahoma on the possession arrow. Steve Kerr shaking his head, walking back down court. He beat Blaylock on the one-on-one. -on -one. 
Well, Sean Elliott's mother from Tucson, and she has encouraged her son to stay on and complete his work toward his degree. A lot of folks have speculated about him coming out next year, but Sean is almost certain that he'll be back next year as a senior. Elliott and Tolbert both collapsed on King, and that on Sean Elliott is his first personal foul. Second team foul on Arizona in this half. Two team fouls against Oklahoma. The Sooners' biggest lead in that first half was 14 points for Coach Tubbs, who came to Oklahoma from Lamar. He's put together seven straight seasons of 20-plus wins with the Sooners. And Brent, you saw what happened with Grant coming into the ball game. It prevented Elliott from moving over to double team on King until he got there a little late. Nice job by Dushman. He'll sit down with Cook returning and King at that free throw line. Oklahoma only up by four. I'm really surprised that Billy Tubbs has not turned it up defensively by going back to that man-to-man -man which really set the tempo in the first half. He stayed with his zone a long time. Mookie Blaylock knowing where his man is, but out of the side of his eyes there, looking to go back for the steal. Here they are, back to the man-to-man -man now. Cook trying to front King. They've got that double low post going now. In the, in the turnaround, foul called. He'll shoot two. This was a magnificent play by Sean Elliott. Got around Seeger, came right down the middle against the defense for the jam. Well, Seeger, one of the best defenders going, but you can see Sean Elliott can put that ball on the floor and take it all the way to the hoop. Even with King and his mom shakes her head a little bit. She loved that one. Well, there's a brand new scoreboard here in the Kemper Arena, and it has a huge video screen on all four sides, and she was looking up there appreciating that replay by Bob Dekas and uh, Bob Fishman, our boys who are sending out the video on this national semifinal here from Kansas City. Fred and I did a game one time and thought that screen was the same as what was on our monitor, and I was telling fans down there, you can see it, and it wasn't even the same picture. <laughs> so I haven't done that here. This is a legendary scoreboard for some of the malfunctions in the past, and it's brand new. Off Elliott's hands, Oklahoma's ball at the 12-25 mark. Nice job by Seeger again. Even though they threw it over his head, he put Elliott in a position where it was tough to make the catch. Well, the Sooners grew a little fat with that lead. Backed off here, and Arizona has stormed back into this game in the second half. Boy, Grant is really fighting for position. He and King are so tough in the low post. King battling on the turnaround, goes to the glass. When he shoots that ball off the glass, Brent, it looks like it has no air in it. You know how it just... There's the pressure. Grace taps it, but Grant slipped, and Lofton runs it down. Otherwise, it would have been another turnover. Going back to man-to-man -man has helped Oklahoma. It just turns up the pressure in the game completely. And the Tolbert soon stays with him, and the foul is called. That's three on King. You see Grant fighting for position inside. Tolbert trying to use that upper thigh as he did early in the game. Grant just fighting for position, doesn't get the ball, but just good offensive movement. And not bad defense either. Now King asking for a little switch because of the foul problem down there. Grant doesn't have a single foul in the game yet. And King with the three. And that's why he was asking across the lane for the defensive switch. Tolbert throws that line a lot and a very good free throw shooter, 82%. Blaylock takes the pass from Grace and drops it on in to King, and here's Seeger. Rotate to Grace on the running hander, and there was a foul underneath. Pushing foul up underneath after the shot goes against Arizona. That's McMillan, and that's his second. 
Lute Olsen, boy, that was a that was a possession that he really wanted to have because it was a strong rebound by Tolbert. Tolbert fronting King. King comes way out this time to get the pass. Seeger bangs a miss. Tolbert rebounds. Grant Tolbert plays a full 6'9. You know, they list him at 6'7, but he's about almost 6'9, goes about 235, and it's showing now. Here he is. Spinning on the inside. Cook tries to keep it alive, and Grant comes off for the Sooners. Race to the top, over to Seeger, and this is Blaylock. Ricky Grace bangs a tray. He squares up beautifully on that jump shot of his. Never needs the dribble to get his elevation off the floor, and that's hard to do in that range. And McMillan comes back with a three, and Grant rebounds the miss. You notice Elliott has not touched the ball about four or five times down the floor now. It's important when the Arizona gets close to make sure Elliott touches it. Same as Danny Manning in the first game for Kansas. Good defense that time against King. Arizona's ball. Lute Olsen's going to have to make a decision with McMillan, who has not been able to get untracked offensively. They have to get somebody in, it, in there that can score. The Oklahoma's giving him the jump shot. Seeger was fronting Elliott, so Kerr fires a three-pointer. And now they are 2 of 14 from the three-point line. We've got a TV timeout here in Kansas City. 9.45 left. The Sooners lead it 58-49. Whether it's the roar of an available turbo or 16-valve engine, Grand Am is sheer driving excitement. And now, with $400 back direct from Pontiac, you can really cash in on Grand Am excitement. Here's to the winners, those who move mountains. Here's to the miracles they make us see. Holiday Inn welcomes you, the people who know that winning at life is working hard at it and living it fully day after day. Here's to the winners, all of us can be. Holiday Inn salutes you. Here's to the winners. We're on your way. When you buy a new lawnmower, you want to believe that each one will be the last you'll ever have to buy. But in time, it becomes painfully clear that not all lawnmowers are engineered to last. Knowing this, why would you settle for anything less than a Honda? Year after year, the right tool for mowing the lawn. When you look for champions, look to college basketball on CBS Sports. It's been a family affair as far as the Tubbs family is concerned with Oklahoma basketball. And there's the daughter of the coach, Taylor Tubbs. And a few years ago during the Wayman Tisdale era, Tommy Tubbs was on the team. Tommy came over to me yesterday, slipped up behind me, Billy, and he said, I want you to tell everybody that I'm the best athlete in the family. Daddy's a pretty good jogger, by the way. He puts in a few miles a year. How big is this game down in Norman? No football practice this weekend. Barry Switzer, who's a huge college basketball fan, has come up here. The Arizona football coach, Dick Tomey, is also here. And Arizona will play Oklahoma September 17th. Nice to see you here, Barry Switzer. As a matter of fact, the baseball series, Billy, Oklahoma, Texas, they've called that off this week, too. they got to watch the Sooners in action. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, if Oklahoma were to win this game, be the first time in the history of collegiate sports that a football team and basketball team from the same school had a chance to play for the national championship. Yeah, and Tub said yesterday, and it'll be Barry's fault if we don't get it done. <laughs> <laughs> they have very good comradeship. He said Switzer comes to many of his practices. Barry's firing it up, and underneath, 
King was positioning, and that is now four personal fouls on Stacy King, and that could spell a substitution. You yeah, bet. He, Andre Wiley is up, and he will quickly hustle into the game. Could be a huge play here because King has been the offensive force for that low post play. It puts a lot of pressure on Grant. Spurs got to be careful of Blaylock coming around from behind. Blaylock hasn't been able to get the steal yet. Cook, Elliott, Kerr, Lofton, and Tolbert on the floor for Coach Olsen. Good fake by Cook. And Tolbert with an offensive rebound. Muscles up to the glass. Misses again. And a foul on the Sooners. That's number two on Wiley. And that is five team fouls against Oklahoma and only four on Arizona as we look ahead to a possible foul shooting situation. One and one so critical in any close game. Right now it's 58-49. We have 8.45 to go. Elliott off and dribble explodes for the field goal. He's got the great pump fake off the shot, and then he has that bounce step of his where he can just elevate himself with a jumper. Very difficult to stop. The Sooners open up that lead, but they could not put Arizona away. Wyatt quickly with the shot, and it was short. Gets it back, and he traveled. It goes over to Arizona. Big difference between Wiley, although he has great leaping ability, and the outstanding play that we saw earlier in the ball game by Stacy King. They're just not the same down in that low post. Oh. Oh. Spin on him. There it was. Coming up with a shot. Bang the drum again for Sean Elliott and foul number three on Seeger. Right, we're talking about a young man that's six foot nine who's got these great offensive moves as if he's six foot five. He was only 5'11 in junior high, and he told me he's grown like two, three inches a year, and so he's developed his skills as a guard right along with his growth. That's why he's so good with that ball. He attended one of Michael Jordan's camps back in North Carolina. And Michael Jordan has nothing but praise for the young man who has now pulled Arizona back to within four. 58-54. Time remains. Grant trying to get position. Wiley going back after it aggressively, and it was off Elliott's hands. He wanted another foul call in yeah. that situation. And I think he was right, because he had good position, and the reason that ball went out of his hands, he was banged from behind. Wiley takes up a lot of space in there, a good leaper. Wiley's 2 of 5 off the Oklahoma bench in this game. King with the foul problem out. He shot 9 of 16. Oklahoma has not been able to score since King went out with his foul difficulty. There you see the 1-3-1 zone that time by Arizona. And Lofton probably runs the baseline as far as his, his quickness is in, as well as anybody around. Of course, sometimes he gets stuck down in there with rebounding, but he really can't get to the corners. You notice there's the 1-3-1 setup even on the out-of-bounds play. This should allow somebody at the top of the key to get off the three-point shot. I look for Seeger. Blaylock drops it in on the inside, and Grant will go for the two. Bob McAdoo puts that ball behind his head. Very left was right. There's the turnover. Blaylock now coming to the attack. Gives it up to Grace. And back to the man-to-man -man defense. They get inside to Grant. Can't hit back-to-back -back field goals. Andre Wiley with a great job, and Blaylock hits the field goal. Brent, you almost think you have to release Blaylock's man so that he can't hang around under, under that offensive board. He has 85 offensive rebounds this year. Maybe the only way to keep him on. Steps. That's a 13th turnover by Arizona. And every time Arizona makes a run and gets it down into working margin territory, Oklahoma comes back with a good play inside. Often chasing Blaylock. Seeger over to Grace. 
Often gambled that time. Seager just roaming around the outside, waiting for that three. Tough, aggressive Arizona defense yep. here. They're really playing well on the perimeter. They ship inside to Grant. The fade away. And Lofton comes away. Here's Kerr. You know, Kerr has not come out of this game. Elliott. That's a three. That's 24 points as Sean Elliott hits a three here. Seeger comes back with a three and misses. Gets it back. Drives for the deuce. Elliott missing. Grant's rebound. Now Billy Tubbs has got it down to 541. King's been on the bench with four fouls. It's about time to bring him back in. It's really make things tough for Arizona at this point. Seven-point lead. Oklahoma has shown a nice ability to change the pace a little bit themselves in this game. Grant blocked and it winds up in Oklahoma's hands and Wiley couldn't put it away. And now he's fouled by Kerr. So here in Kansas City, along with Billy Packer, Jim Nance, and James Brown, I'm Brent Musburger. We hope you've enjoyed our national semifinal this afternoon. Kansas beating Duke in the first game. Great second half rally by Mike Krzyzewski's team, but they fall short 66-59. And now on Monday night, the Jayhawks will play the winner of this game. If it's Oklahoma, it will be an all Big 8 final. That conference has had a marvelous year. And of course, if it's Arizona, then the Pac-10 stands very tall and sends someone to the final for the first time since UCLA got there. Under Larry Brown. Well, the Bruins are looking for a coach. Jim Dalvano says that he has backed out. He told our Jim Nance in a telephone call earlier today, don't be surprised if some Larry Brown talk starts before this weekend is over, even though he had one term out there. He's very popular with some folks in the Los Angeles area. Lofton missing, and Seeger wraps up the rebound, and now Grace comes to the attack. And Lofton got a hand on it, but Grant gets it back for the Sooners. All the bounces go in Oklahoma's way lately. And that's because of their quickness and again that stamina factor they don't even look tired out here at this point foul down on the inside is number four on Tolbert you know Brent it's interesting too to talk about Billy Tubbs's program in off-season conditioning the weightlifting the constant running he really doesn't like his players to play too many pickup basketball games because they get into bad habits and I think he's been very much misunderstood as a coach very much like Jerry Tarkanian was just because they score a lot of points People think they, they, don't, they don't have a concept, but I think he's he's really, really a sharp coach. If you go to Norman, Oklahoma, and you're a coach, get a lot of players ready. That's the hottest gymnasium I've ever been in in college basketball. It was warm here in the Kemper this afternoon, and uh, Billy Tubbs' athletes, they just work and work to stay in condition. As Lute Olson has one more conversation with his center, who will sit down for a while. So a television break here at the 454 mark. Sooners lead it 68 57. Working late again, huh, Tim? Yeah, I'm just finishing up that PC proposal. Oh, uh, yeah. You, you going with IBM? No, I'm going with AT&T. AT&T? Yeah. Why, why did you bother asking my advice if you're going to go with AT&T? They match the specs better. Better than who? IBM, Compaq, you name Wait it. Wait a minute. What are you talking about? Flexibility. Flex. My machines give me more flexibility than I'll ever need. Can your vendor give all your users simultaneous access to the same program? That's what I'm getting with these AT&T machines. I can hang 32 terminals off just one PC. You're still blowing your budget on standalones. <laughs> you sound like a commercial. I'm giving you the facts. Why don't you try listening for a change? Volkswagen engineers believe our 16 valve engines should not only provide an abundance of power, but be accompanied by the technology to control it. And that's a belief from which our engineers never walk away. 
German engineering, the Volkswagen way. Well, whenever Arizona challenges here in the second half, Oklahoma seems to pull away just a little bit. 4.54 to go. And Arizona's turnovers tonight, 13, one above their season average. They have held on to the ball much better here in the second half than they did earlier. You know, Billy Tubbs, I mentioned that he was a great jogger, and I'm reminded of that horrible incident that he also suffered down there. Jogging one night, he was hit in the twilight, I believe it was, by a car. It was life-threatening, and he has come back from that. And even to this day, he is an avid runner. He logs some thousand miles a year, if you will. He's in great physical condition. I guess if you demand that of your athletes, the least you can do is stay in shape yourself. That was Grace going out after it, and they forced the turnover. Well, even the year that he had the accident, Oklahoma was in the NCAA tournament. Remember, they got knocked off by Bobby Knight. Mike Newell coached that team. McMillan returning for Coach Olson as Bushler sits back down. Inside of five minutes now, 68-57. Let's see if Arizona has anything left defensively. They've expended a lot of energy to get this game down to a working margin. First person on that young man. I've got to tell a story about Grant as he moves up to the free throw line. He figured he needed a set of wheels down in Oklahoma. He said, hey, quarterbacks drive cars. i got to have one. So he calls his twin brother with the Chicago Bulls. He said, can you lend me some money? Well, his brother said, I'll get you $200 a month and you go ahead and shop for a car. He went shopping for a $50,000 Mercedes. <laughs> he better find like a 20-year contract to buy that car. It's over. Well, Horace learned a little bit in Clemson there in terms of uh, how to use his money wisely. You bet. It's probably not interest-free. No, They're both from Sparta, Georgia. Here is his. Oh, he ran it. He shot that one like a Mercedes. He and King are so tough. And, and what amazes me, even with King out of the game, Grant's taken over. Kelly oh, 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 in on the drive. Good no foul call that time. 26 points for Sean Elliott, who has played magnificently here tonight for the Wildcats. Well, Brent, here's where stamina comes in, too, for Kerr. He's not been out of the game yet today. You're asking him to put pressure on Grace full court. I don't think he has enough left to do that. Same way with Elliott. He's been working hard here in the second half. And Wiley's still out there with King watching down to the 330 mark. Now Wiley with the jump shot. Well, Billy Tuck said if my second team doesn't get to play that many minutes, but believe me, they can play. They're the toughest team we play in practice every day defensively, and I think he's seeing some of it right here out of Wiley. There'll be no bench clearing by this Oklahoma team. Billy says, if I'm up by 20, I want 30. No lead is ever that safe, especially with a three-point play. Remember last year in the NCAA tournament, he lost a 19-point lead to Iowa. He said, if you're playing well, your biggest lead should be at the end of the game. Curse three, and he brings it down. Big moment. That's his first field goal in the second half. They are four of 17 at the perimeter. So that perimeter defense that you spoke about, Oklahoma's had the edge there. They really have. They've taken that big part of Arizona's game away. The nation's best team from the perimeter has not been there today. And Grant just keeps on firing. That's 20 points. You know, at one point in last season, he was leading the Big 8 in rebounding, and his brother was leading the ACC in rebounding. That's never been done before in college basketball. Cook up over Grant. He's had a good game. 14 points. So, Lute Olson will use one of his timeouts here at the 239 mark. He's down by 10. How to shave an angel. For heaven's sake, use the Gillette Good News Plus Disposable. It's got the Lubra Smooth Strip, so the comfortable shave for an angel is... This little devil. Good News Plus, from Gillette. It's the right spot on the right day When a Coors Light is the only way There's a new
Only UPS delivers overnight to every single address, coast to coast, guaranteed. Which should guarantee you a good night's sleep. UPS, we run the tightest ship in the shipping business. Mitsubishi knows you want a truck to be tough. But we also know you want more for your money. Mitsubishi Mighty Max trucks give you more. Up to 2.6 liters of power, a 5-speed stick, more standard features for less than Toyota, Nissan, or Mazda. Even the lowest-priced macro cab. The new Mitsubishi Mighty Max trucks. Mitsubishi, suddenly the obvious choice. Courageous family, Ann Kerr, who flew all the way from Cairo. John, the older brother, there along with Andrew, the younger, and a sister, Susie, could not make it. She is over in London, England, and she has some difficulty in London trying to get the score of Brother Steve Kerr's game here from the United States. Ann was able to hear it on Armed Forces Radio, as she told James Brown at the half, but they didn't carry it over in London last week, so Susie may be receiving a phone call as soon as this is over. 2.39 to go. The timeout situation for Kerr and the Arizona Wildcats here who are down by 10. They have two remaining, and Billy Tubbs is left with four. The possession arrow in favor of Arizona. They're shooting one and one on that foul at the backcourt by Elliott, his second personal foul. And here you can see Lou Olson going to the foul routine quickly. Now, that's very difficult against this ball club. First of all, they're very quick and hard to foul. But secondly, if you make this move, you're almost committed to go to the three-point shot on the other end of the floor. Down 10, there's still plenty of time to play it solid. They drop back. Let Kerr bring it up this time. Oklahoma goes back to that 2-3 zone. Offensive foul is called against Elliott, number three. Lou Olson has to be careful on that one. He didn't like the call, but you can't get a technical here. And I think if you're going to go for the three, you've got to get the ball down inside and then pop it back out. Because the perimeter defense by Oklahoma is just sensational. Kerr will put Blaylock up on the line. Well, the commitment here is the old Jim Valvano style that we remember to get uh, the brought him to the national championship foul immediately don't let any time go off the clock and hope that they can't can the front ends of those one and ones McMillan replacing Lofton who will sit down the newcomer of the year in the big eight Mookie Blaylock We, you know, you, we just really have to start considering this tremendous pipeline, the junior college pipeline for coaches that have the nucleus but need that one or two guys just to fit in and make it roll. And we have the potential here of two national championships in a row. Since the arrival of Proposition 48, the JC program has been much more important. It's Kerr, short on the three-pointer, yanked away by Oklahoma's Grant, and the foul against Elliott now is his fourth at the 216 mark. 75-64. Well, obviously, Lou Olson did make that commitment to say with like roughly 2.30 to go, they're going to foul, take time, make sure no time goes off the clock, and look for the threes. It's tough to ask Kerr to be making threes. He's been out there every minute of this game, been dogged all day by Blaylock, and just not shooting it. And that's up 11. 11. To give you an idea what a great three-point shooter he is, the national record was 53% for guys that tried at least 100. He's going to shoot about 59% on the year, and he's made over 100. He's played 38 minutes here. Tonight. Elliott has gone 36 against the Sooners, and Cook 35. No one uh, there in the middle of that bench seems to want to uh, watch a free throw attempt over there. 76 64 at the. 2-10 mark. That's the right thing to do. Take it inside, bring it back out for the three. And McMillan can it. Very good strategy. His first field goal of the second half. 76-67 with the three-point rule. This would not get over. Hi, 
I do have flight 139 leaving in 20 minutes, but only in first class. I'll take it. Yeah, they're calling my flight. I'll be there. <sighs> I missed much. No, it just started. Where is she? The second potted plant from the left. Coming through when you need it most. Membership has its privileges. Okay. Alex will now do his famous dog impersonations. Grab a straw light, relax. Ready, Alex? All right, who's this? Oh, Rin Tin Tin! Look at this, look at this. Trim! My three sons. Right. Oh, yeah. This is my favorite. Benji. Oh, I don't know how he does it. It's amazing. Straw light, fire brewed for smooth, consistent taste. No, here, here he comes. Here he Who's that supposed to be? Beats me. You hear the thunder, the call of the road. No time to wonder, you gotta go. Aggressively styled and power to match. That's Grand Am. Get on your pony and ride. Pony and ride. And now, with $400 back direct from Pontiac, you can really cash in on Grand Am excitement. Get on your Pontiac! Rebuild excitement! The two-minute drill for Arizona Village. Right, Brent, you're down nine. There are three possessions to get you back in. Now, watch the pass go inside. You've got Arizona out on the perimeter. This is a great move to get the ball inside, then back outside, and you'll end up getting the three-point shot. If you try to get it right away, the defense will be out there. Now, watch how the defense collapsed. The ball comes back outside. Now you have the wide-open three-point shot instead of just trying to do it while the defense is out in your face. So against the Arizona pressure, Grace gets it over to Grant. And they get it back in the point guard's hands, and McMillan will put him up on the free throw line. But only about, what, eight seconds went off on that possession, so Arizona is just going to take the chance that their threes are going to beat the one-and-one -one shooting of Oklahoma. Arizona has been ranked one, two, or three since back in December. They were favored coming into this game. Already one favorite has been knocked off here in the Kemper Arena. Duke losing to Kansas. You know what's interesting, Grant? In this Final Four, only one team was preseason AP top ten. Kansas. How about that? Oklahoma, Arizona, and Duke were not in the top ten preseason. It's amazing how teams develop. And our buddy Mike Francesca, you know who he picked to win the national championship back in October? He Kansas. Picked the Kansas <laughs> and wrote him off in January. He's one of our, in fact, he is our chief researcher for college basketball. And He's feeling pretty good right now. Took off a fake now, and Grant comes into him. And gets the roll. Now, you want to get the ball away from the defense so you don't get fouled here, which was smart by Oklahoma. They lock into one of these hands, and he drew the foul, and he'll come up to the free throw line. Both teams showing how well coached they are fundamentally. Since Oklahoma sees that they're going to be fouled, they kept the ball moving like a hot potato. Before the defender could get to you, you make the pass. So Wiley gets the nice shot inside. Mankin, coach. What does wife say? Billy, I think you like me better than basketball. He said, that's probably true, but not better than track. <laughs> Fun guy to be around. Elliot with a slick move off the dribble. Oh, what great skill he possesses. You gotta pass the ball before you get fouled, Ricky Grace, and he waited a little too long. So we head toward Monday night, and it appears more and more like the Big Eight will be dominating the proceedings at 9 Eastern time. We'll be here in the Kemper Arena. It will be the Kansas Jayhawks against either Arizona or Oklahoma. 80-71 with 1.13 to go, and Grace now with some important free throws. Then we talk about the great junior college connection. Ricky Grace broke a player's assist record at Midland. Spud Webb not doing a bad job. Did a great job for Jimmy Valvano at NC State and has had a sensational career with the exception of the injuries now that he's gone to the pros. Grace hits them both. It's back to 11 at the 113 mark. Cole 
Gilbert wants Kerr, and they go to McMillan. Forced to penetrate, the three wasn't there, and a quick timeout is called. That's Arizona's final timeout at the one-minute mark, 82 to 73. And so Coach Lute Olson over there will set his strategy now for Arizona. Arizona has not been pressed at all in the tournament. They have blown out all four of their opponents. But here they have met a lot of talent in this Oklahoma team, and the Sooners have played extremely intelligently against the Rockets. ever get a chance please come to a final four it's just a great setting I really think that Friday is probably the favorite day for a lot of folks because nobody's ever lost on a Friday hey friend where are those people that were clamoring those tickets left early but the Some guy didn't the want Duke to stay fans. oh maybe North Carolina the guy didn't want to stay for the whole game somebody could have probably bought a half a ticket from him Tell you one thing, by the way, the Arizona that, cheerleaders and the band, they certainly haven't given up. By the way, that sheriff you were talking about, was it the sheriff that uh, caught the guy for scouting the tickets? Did he then take the man's ticket and come to the game? <laughs> what, what's what the story on that? What's the final line on that? What one? they do with property that they, I don't that know. they seize. Yeah, I would imagine that there are some policemen in here today. Well, again, it is against the law to scout tickets, but this was such a precious ticket because there are only some 15,800 to be had in the highest price we have heard paid for a ticket to all three games the doubleheader today and then on Monday night was upwards of two thousand dollars and whoever can afford that I hope they've enjoyed the afternoon I might add you know Oklahoma has been in a championship game one other time 1947 and they lost the Holy Cross only team from the state of Massachusetts ever been in the national championship all you can do oh they're gonna call it intentional oh Lute Olsen has to be hot with that because Lofton was going for the ball now this is the supreme penalty two shots and the ball out of bounds I don't agree with this call now see if he's not going for the ball he reaches in there to try to make the steal I don't think any question about that a good defensive play So Grace will shoot as Olsen reacts to the sideline, and then they get the ball back. So this could be the crusher. Athletic director, Sid Dempsey of Arizona. A prognosticator, I'm not, Brent. I said there was no way Kansas could win the game, and Arizona's the team that's going to win it all. So I'm over too. Into Seeger's hands. Now that could be an intentional grabbing a man from behind. Fifty-six seconds to go. 84-73. The Sooners of Oklahoma with the lead. And Billy Tubbs closing in on his 200th victory at Oklahoma. And his 300th and sixth overall in college basketball he came to the Sooners from Lamar winning his coach percentage wise in Oklahoma history and soon will be the winningest in number of wins beating coach Drake the man that devised the famous Drake shuffle well Arizona has been beaten only twice this year New Mexico and Stanford this would be Loss number three as Elliott hits another three-point shot. What a fabulous game. 31 points for Elliott. And McMillan will put Seeger back on the line with 42 seconds to go, and that is the fifth foul on him. Well, Brent, these young fellas that went to Arizona with Lute Olson went there under the... The idea that someday they could help build a program, and that they have done, because although Arizona is not going to be in the championship game, Lute Olson has his program in very, very solid shape. 
and he has helped to bring back a big rebirth in West Coast Pac-10 basketball in regard to the great season they've had this year. I think you can hear their fans in the background. Bill Channing, U of A. Very appreciative. They were averaging about 7,000 fans a game before he went, he got there. Now they sell out everything. Such an empty feeling for a young man like Steve Kerr to get so close. And now with 42 seconds left, you know you're going to be eliminated. It's, a, it's really a tough situation for these teams when they when they reach the final four and they walk away feeling so empty-handed but really they shouldn't be in Arizona it, it's been a truly magnificent season down there for the Wildcats and their fans and Brent, kind of fitting that the Big Eight will play the championship they were just here a few weeks ago with their Big Eight championship well again it will be the third time that Oklahoma has played Kansas the Sooners have won both times each game by eight points Boy, there is Lofton staying with it. Time running down. You know, Lofton, Billy, is a remarkable story. Number 11. He was raised by a blind grandmother back in East Chicago, Indiana. Rosie Person is her name. And Rosie, if you're listening, you can be awfully proud of number 11, Kenny Lofton. They're not going to get the job done here tonight against Oklahoma. But he's done a fabulous job for you down in Tucson. 18 seconds to go now, 86-78. The Sooners closing in on an appointment against Larry Brown and the Kansas Jayhawks. This place will be rocking on Monday night. Whatever tickets are available, the Kansas fans will certainly be going after. There'll be more Oklahoma rooters in here as uh, Seeger does a little audition for Switzer's team there. Well, you sh it shows Seeger's intensity for the full 40 minutes. And you know, Stacy King has been out of this ball game, what, for maybe eight minutes when he picked up his fourth foul, and they haven't missed a beat because Grant's been so tough inside. And Andre Wiley contributed some good moments from him, too. Lofton's three would not stay down. Cook goes after it. Arizona's ball. And Oklahoma wins it. They will play Kansas for Billy Tubbs. one side of the story. Now, let's go to James Brown for the other side. All right, Brent, Coach Olsen, what do you